Hi everyone, I thought I'd just do you a quick video on how to make a very quick gift bag. You use a full sheet of 12 by 12 which in my mind is a 30.5 centimetre square. I've used, this is probably going to be backwards again and I don't know why, I've used this new paper pad I've just received from the works. £3.24 sheets, double sided, gorgeous patterns in this one so I bought two. Um, unfortunately only the biggest stores actually stock the big pads now you have to order them online anyhow so very easy to do um, decide which side you're going to use as your outer and I'm using my hobby craft trimmer here trimmer and scorer which I end up using the cutting instead of the scoring blade right so we're going to do the down the, the height first the downward measurements first so five centimeters 14.25 19.25 and 28.5 this is just so you don't have to chop bits off your paper so 28.5 turn by and then turn by like one quarter and you're going to go at five and 25.5 and I did me cutting blade instead of me trimming blade again right so so you've got all your scoring done so you've got one two three four down and two across okay so burnish your folds burnish your score lines this paper's lovely i really like this paper it's even heavier than my usual one Now with this bag there's a couple of ways actually because you can actually nip it nip the top together as well. So you could actually use it like that if you wanted to. With the, you know, because if you follow that down, it folds itself for you till you get to the bottom. And we'll actually it's a bit I'm a bit twisted, but it will actually if you keep going, fold flat if you wanted to store it. Yeah, so you can do that with these as well, just while it occurs to me to tell you. Okay, so the on the glue and tab here, cut in a, a little wedge. You don't need anything huge. Cut in a little wedge and cut that bottom corner off. Okay, do the same. Reverse it 180 and do the same at the top. So there isn't a top or bottom at this point because they're both the same. Okay, then you've got squares and rectangles, square and a rectangle. We're going to cut straight lines up the squares, up the rect, yeah. We're going to cut all straight lines. We'll start like that first. Cut into all of the fall, all of these lines along the bottom and the top. Just follow your crease. I usually do this a lot neater than I am, but I'm trying to keep the video short. That creaking that you might possibly hear is upstairs floorboards. Right, then fold your rectangles out of the way and cut a little wedge off the ends of your square parts. Same at the other end, fold the rectangles out the way. Little wedges out of the square bits. Okay. 
Right, so that's what you've got now. Yeah, oh, unfold that bit. There we go. So, so far, so good, yeah? Are you with me? Right, one little tip I've got for you. Make a little template for the for this panel. Um, because it'll help you position your punch holes. Okay, but you don't want to put them on that bit while it's open. You need to fold it down and mark on the inside because your punch is going to have to go down that far. So I just did this the same size as this, which is 9.25. And I've gone 6.5, uh, 6 but it's a bit bigger, but it doesn't matter. It's the, it's the width you want, which is 9.25. And I measured down the middle at 4.75. And I came in by two centimeters and down by what by two centimeters, so that they're all in the same place. Now I'll do what I didn't do on the last video that I'm going to delete and punch these out before we glue them. Then all your, oh, then all of your punch marks are in the same place. Your punch holes. I think your punch is getting old. A bit like. This paper is a lot thicker than the usual three pound pads. That's it. Right, so we now know which is the top anyhow. So that's your top. Right, so you've got loads of gluing room on this side panel here. So it's a nice sturdy bag. I mean, it doesn't need to be, this gluing panel doesn't need to be this wide, but it just saves you cutting tiny slivers off your big sheet of paper okay so glue your panel you put glue on your gluing panel I can't do it I've seen them on videos doing it like I can't do it like that I have to bring the two ends up to meet each other there we go right, and score the glue down it's nice and spread out there we go so remember which is the back so that's me back so i'll tuck that one in and i might remember right because how i glue the bottom is i don't like these panels showing even on the inside these tabs so i tend to fold the back in first put glue on the glue and tabs at the side And also the front flap. Just make sure you go to the edges on this one because it'll be raised up otherwise. So fold your flaps over, fold the front flap over the top, turn it upside down and get a ruler and go inside with your ruler spread it around then there is no flaps even if somebody were to look down the inside of this bag there was no flap shown because they're wedged between the two pieces okay we're nearly there right it's up to you you glue this bit or don't glue this bit um it works for me either way but you don't need a lot of glue it's just to um, reinforce the top of the box where you're going to have your handles coming out And tuck these in nicely. Get your bone folder and score them down nice and flat so you've got a nice professional finish. Cut some twine, ribbon, whatever you want for your handles. I really do like this paper pad. I'm gonna have to think of some stuff to get a, a new order, to make up another order. So I, I bought two, but it might be worth getting another one while I've got them. Right, one handle.
Oh, and then I'll tell you the measurements. I'll measure it for you so you know how big it actually ends up being. Forgot to do that bit. I don't even know this actually. Oh, yeah, it is. I wasn't sure if I'd pressed the record button or not. Because this is attempt number two or three. Lost track. Right, there you go. So there's your nice little gift bag. Everything's still backwards still, and I still don't know why, but hey-ho. So it is just, it's just over 20 and a half centimetres tall by about five and a quarter centimetres wide. So it's a good size. Get a lot in there. And as I say, you can always press it down and down the sides to flatten it out so you can store it. Okay, I'm done. Bye.